Welcome back to Right on the Money, providing you and your family the necessary information you need to make informed financial decisions. Now, in case you're just joining us, our guest today, Jay Peak, president of Peak Financial Corporation. We've been talking a lot about the Harvest Retirement Program. Jay, let's dive right back in. Sounds great. All right, so let's talk about, now you work with a lot of different groups and you've got some areas of uh, expertise and some specialization. And one of the groups that you work with is medical professionals, doctors and dentists, right? Absolutely. Now, what, uh, so doctors and dentists, what do they have that makes them unique? They're just regular working folk, aren't they? Well, I tell you, they have some unique challenges that a lot of us never think about. And one of those is malpractice. Uh, it's huge. So when you look at a physician's practice, typically they have a LLC or some type of corporation to protect sure. them. Uh, but depending on the state, that may not wholly protect them. And their retirement accounts may be at risk. And so when we look at a physician's portfolio, we typically take that, we look at it and say, are you protected in the case of one, stock market loss, mm -hmm. right? Two, long-term care, if that happens to you and three malpractice lawsuits. And basically protection from creditors and predators. And I think that that's so important because physicians make mistakes just like we do sure. every day. And when that happens, um, their retirement por portfolio needs to be protected in the case of those lawsuits. And so that's what we help them do. Well, that's interesting. I guess I had never really thought about that. I, I, I you know, we all have the same, if we're exposed to the market, we've got market exposure, but uh, the long-term care is interesting because I never thought about that, yep. I guess, since, uh, since they're a business owner has their inventory in a business they can sell, and I guess a doctor or a dentist, it's all yep. up here. But then the, the chance for malpractice. Uh, I didn't realize that their uh, retirement accounts could be at risk. Yeah, absolutely. And it, again, it depends on that specific state's laws. Sure. But we have a, a group of attorneys that we work with and CPAs for their specific area. And when we get somebody that is a brain surgeon, for example, we'll say, uh, look at their portfolio, we'll connect them with our local experts in their state to mm -hmm. make sure that we get it right the first time, and then we help place the products to make sure that their portfolio is protected. You know, you've said something a couple times in a couple segments that I really like, get it right the first time. Yeah. And that, I think that must go back all the way to, to your grandfather <laughs> and ranching, doesn't it? Measure twice and cut once, right? There we go. It still applies today. <laughs> Yep. Sure. Why this is oh, it's huge. You know, I think that uh, one, physicians and dentists, chiropractors, pharmacists, all of them are in a higher tax bracket. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them, uh, you know, are either business owners or W-2 employees. And when you look at that, their tax basis that they're paying is enormous compared to a lot of us, right? And in retirement, when they sell their business, the kids are moved out, they've paid off their house, uh, they have little to no deductions anymore, but mm -hmm. they still have a good income because they came to us, right? Sure. And so how do you mitigate that risk? And so we have accounts that we put them in that protect them from the creditors and predators and essentially lowers the taxable amount that they're gonna pay in retirement. So said another way, they get to keep more of their own money instead of giving away to Uncle Sam. That makes sense. All right, so uh, reform the retirement account rules. Tell me about that. Oh, I think it's huge. And that's what we talked about with uh, getting into our uh, local attorneys, mm -hmm. right? And when you look at reform overall, we're talking about reform of their uh, entire portfolio and making sure that it is protected. And I think that so many physicians uh, or doctors in general aren't looking at that mm -hmm. because no one's ever talked to them about it. You know, they're worried about, hey, how do I get a little bit of tax deduction? How do I do this? How do I do that? But they've never looked at from a holistic standpoint, which is essentially exactly what you said, is protecting their account. Looking at the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, leverage your retirement money. Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a big deal for physicians because when you look at leveraging your money, you can either use your money or someone else's money, right? And so it's kind of the old adage, uh, when you're opening up a business, you use other people's money, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you can do the same thing in your retirement portfolio. So in the case of long-term care, use other people's money, the insurance company's money, right? In the case of uh, getting a guaranteed paycheck for the rest of your life, and you're able to leverage their money instead of yours to make sure that even if you ran out of money in your portfolio, they're still gonna pay you month in, month out, no matter what happens in the market or due to the world economy. That's a good way to leverage. Okay, uh, have a floor. Yeah, <laughs> I think that you talk to your, your stock broker and, and you talk about what we do. You know, you're gonna make more money in the market, mm -hmm. right? and uh, there's no cap on what we do or, or whatever they're saying is, 
Uh, and I always like to get rebuttal by saying, well, do you have a four on your account? And they say, well, what are you talking about? It's like Greek to them, right? Mm -hmm. Because they can't do it. That's, that does sound like a, definitely a big deal. Uh, work with a specialist. Yeah. I think that just like a doctor, if you went to a general practitioner and they said, you know, you've got a problem with your heart, they're going to refer you to a specialist. It really sounds like for doctors and dentists, there really are a lot of moving parts here. It's, it's a big deal and you really have to have all the pieces in place mm -hmm. to make sure that this works for them. But I don't know of really anybody else who has all that all together like we do. And it's a big relief for physicians when they come in, out of our office and we have this plan ready for them. Now, one of the things that I do know, and this is the last point, but you've put together a program and a, a, a book or a booklet yeah. for physicians? Right. Yeah, we have the Physicians Retirement Program, and essentially it's a way for them to uh, be educated about what they have and what we do before we even talk. And I think that's so important because physicians obviously are educated because they've been through many years of school. And so we like to educate them first. That way when they talk to us, they understand the lingo, they understand what we're talking about, and it's simple as putting the plan in action after that. You know, one of the things that I love about your practice and that I've watched you through the years do, and that is educate. Your commitment yeah. to educating and making sure that clients right. and prospects know what they, even starting with what they have, yeah. is, is just a great commitment to the public. It is, and you know, we have a, uh, I guess, a feeling about that. We're gonna educate you no matter what, whether you do business with us or not, because we sleep very well at night. All right, so we're gonna have to stop here for this segment, but coming up on Right on the Money, more with Jay, we're gonna talk about three things that every person should do. We're also gonna talk about a way to maximize your IRA. So we'll be right back after this break. <music> 